Wall balls, full body exercise, utilizing your legs, your core, and your upper body and your shoulders. First tip is, how far do you stand away from the wall? Put your arms out straight, touch the wall with the fingertips, and that is a perfect distance for doing this exercise. Second thing to point out is the position of the elbow. We don't want our elbows to be by our side because the forearm is going to be pointing towards the wall. So it's more like a chest pass if our elbows are tucked in like this. We want to try and get our elbow up as high as we can. We need to think about taking it to about 45 to 90 degrees, roughly. And just always try and have your forearm in a straight line with your elbow underneath your wrist so that we can press up and forward with the ball. So take those elbows up, make sure there's always a gap between your elbow and your side so that when you're holding the ball, you can press up the way and not forward. When you release the ball at the top, I want you to get your arms out completely straight. I don't want you to throw it with a bent elbow and catch it with a bent elbow. I want you to finish, finish the movement, release the ball and catch the ball at the top of the rep as you're coming down. When you catch the ball, you want to make sure that your hands are cupping the ball and underneath evenly on the same spot every time. You don't want to have your hands around the side of the ball because then you're going to struggle to press upwards. So you need them on the angle of the ball at the bottom there, there and there. It's a perfect position to then throw, release and catch more efficiently. Another important thing to cover is the squat element. You want to make sure that your hips are breaking parallel. They're below the knees. So when the hamstrings and calves meet each other at the bottom, that is the bottom of your rep. Get really strict and consistent at hitting that position every single time. That's gonna allow you to really use your legs to power up. A common fault that we sometimes see with wall balls is that going through the squat pattern, the feet roll in at the bottom of the movement, at the bottom of the squat. There is a, a inward movement of the, the foot, which in turn creates an inward movement of the knee. We want to really focus on keeping our feet flat on the floor and avoiding that movement so that our knees stay out and track our toes. So if our toes are say five to one on the clock face, then our knees should be five to one on the clock face. Little thing to think about so that we avoid falling in on the arches is imagine there is a tomato underneath the arch of your foot and you don't want to squash that tomato. You want to keep that tomato perfect sitting there under the arch of your foot. Or maybe that's slightly too big. Let's think of a, of a blueberry. Keep a blueberry underneath the arch of your foot. Don't squash the blueberry and just make sure that you are maintaining a good position with your feet.